I can tell we have some more yeah. emojis that are going to show up. Young people, get a super job. Thank you for your skit. It was great. Uh, Louis, uh, are you really that angry? <laughs> your anger scares me. <laughs> Guess, thank you for coming. Uh, you're a blessing to us. The message this morning is entitled, This Same Jesus. Our scripture reading. You men of Galilee, why stand ye up gazing into heaven? This same Jesus that has been taken up into heaven from you shall so come in like manner as you've seen him go. Let's pray. Gracious Father, thank you for this day. I uh, ask that you would uh, bless our guests, uh, bless us uh, as we consider the greatness of Christ in our lives. And we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, a great many sermons could be preached uh, from this text. Uh, a great many messages on the second coming of Christ could certainly uh, be uh, born from this one passage. Um, but this morning, we will confine our thoughts to just three words. This same Jesus. Who is this Jesus? The evidence demands a verdict. There was an historical Jesus, without question. Secular history proves that. Jesus once asked, whom do men say that you are? And the disciples answered, some say you're John the Baptist. Others say you are Isaiah or one of the other prophets. It's a question that you must answer in your own lives, as I have mine. Our text is in Acts, the first chapter, verse number 11, if you'd care to turn there. The message here in verse number 11, you men of Galilee, why stand you up gazing into heaven? the same Jesus who is taken up into heaven from you. So, so come in like manner as you've seen him go. The same Jesus will be our focus and we'll remain right here this morning because this passage is all about this same Jesus. In fact, the whole book called the Bible is about this same Jesus. If the truth is known, the entire universe is all about this same Jesus. Because the whole alphabet of human history is centered in this same Jesus. In fact, this present moment in time, as we know it in our lives, is all about this same Jesus. And all eternity actually rests upon this same Jesus. Hence, each of us can gather from this message on this given Sunday and this season and what it's all about. It's about this same Jesus. Hence, each of us can gather that the message is all about the same Jesus. I'm not a complicated guy. Really, I'm just a one-point preacher. And this is the one point this same Jesus. Who is he? Is he a religious fanatic? Or is he who he said he is? Is he some lunatic? Or is he God? 
whom do men say that I am? Peter said, thou art the Christ. You are the promised one. You are the anointed one. You are the savior, this same Jesus. These words have been in my thoughts for a number, number of weeks now. These three words have been burning in my heart ever since. And I trust these three words that have captured my life will somehow capture yours, this same Jesus. Because all of life and the living of it, God bless your heart, is about this same Jesus. And because he did come, he is coming again. So let's consider this same Jesus for just a few moments. This same Jesus was clothed in the very shrouds of death at his birth. The scriptures say he was wrapped in swaddling clothes. This same Jesus was wrapped in burial cloth from the first day of his life because that's what swaddling cloth was. You see, this same Jesus was not born to live as babies are. This same Jesus was born to die. He had no servants, yet they called him master. He had no degrees, yet they called him teacher. He had no medicines to distribute, yet they called him the great physician. He had no army, yet kings feared him. He won no military battles here on earth, yet he conquered sin, death, and hell for us, this same Jesus. He was buried in a tomb, and he lives today in our hearts. And since he arose from that grave, he will one day come again. This same Jesus came to his earth to rescue you and me from ourselves. This same Jesus was not born in a palace. He was placed in an animal trough. This same Jesus found shelter in a barn because there was no room for him in the inn. This same Jesus is still seeking a place, but now it's not in some inn. He's seeking a place in your heart. Is there any room in your heart for this same Jesus? Our musical team had no idea what I was preaching on this morning, but they sang this song, Is There Any Room in Your Heart for Jesus? This same Jesus. The same Jesus is the promised Messiah. This same Jesus was born of a virgin. This same Jesus was born from the seed of woman, not man. Paul tells us the same Jesus emptied himself of all of his glory to become a fertilized cell in the womb of Mary. This same Jesus is God who became man to reach you and I. You see, when we couldn't reach up to heaven, heaven reached down to us. When we couldn't climb some stairway to heaven, God came down to meet us. And his name is this same Jesus. Is this same Jesus the one that's helping you this morning? Because it is the same Jesus who helps us when life gets thick and the living of it gets really thin. This same Jesus is our help when life closes in and threatens to choke us. And it is this same Jesus who makes all of this possible and far more. You see, this same Jesus is not just about a baby uh, in a manger. This same Jesus is far more 
than just an infant. This season of the year, people sort of reduce Jesus down uh, to a newborn babe. But this same Jesus is God. And this same Jesus arose from the grave. And this same Jesus is coming again. This same Jesus is my king. And he is coming. This same Jesus is our stability in an unstable world. He is the one anchor point to our living. Secondly, this same Jesus is not only our helper, he is also our healer. For it was this same Jesus who healed the nobleman's son. It was this same Jesus who healed Peter's mother. It was this same Jesus who healed the paralytic in Mark's gospel. It was this same Jesus who healed the cripple of 38 years at the pool of Bethsaida. This same Jesus is who healed the impotent man in John's gospel. This same Jesus is who healed a man's withered hand in Matthew. This same Jesus is the one who healed the 10 lepers in Luke's gospel. This same Jesus is he who healed the blind man with his spit and some clay. This same Jesus is the one who healed a centurion's servant. And a centurion was a Roman soldier, a hero. This same Jesus healed the Gadarean demoniac in Luke 8. This same Jesus is the one who healed the woman who had a blood disorder 12 years. This same Jesus is he who healed the deaf and the dumb in Mark 7. And it is this same Jesus who healed me. This same Jesus. Just who is he? Peter said, you're the Christ. Not only is Jesus the one who has helped me and Jesus is the one who healed me, Jesus is the one who is here this morning. He's here to help you. He's here to heal you. He's here. His spirit is here. It is this same Jesus who became my savior. It is this same Jesus who is my Lord. This same Jesus is coming again. And this same Jesus who is Savior wants to be your Savior this day. It is this same Jesus who invited the Samaritan woman to taste of the water of life freely. And he invites us to do the same. It is this same Jesus who called some simple fishermen to follow him. And it is this same Jesus who is calling us to do the same. It is this same Jesus whom they called master. They did that on a number of occasions. And he's the one that wants to master our lives with his. Is there any room in your heart for this same Jesus? Because this same Jesus has changed my forever. And this same Jesus is a coming king. Not just a baby in a manger, but God and Savior.
So it's this same Jesus that we are here on this Sunday morning. It is because this same Jesus, we are here to sing praises to a newborn king. It is this same Jesus, we are here to celebrate his life. It is this same Jesus, we are here to celebrate his greatness. It is this same Jesus, we are here to celebrate his reality. Whom do men say that I am? Well, who will you say that Jesus is? He's God. The best news the world has ever heard came from a manger in a graveyard. This same Jesus arose. This same Jesus is king. This same Jesus is not just something to sing about. He is also someone to shout about. For tomorrow's history has already been written by this same Jesus. And this same Jesus is coming once more as king. Amen. So three words recorded long ago is our answer to every problem and every hurt you will ever experience. This same Jesus. If you miss this same Jesus, you miss everything that life is meant to be. This same Jesus has changed my forever. He wants to change yours. This same Jesus. God bless you. Thank you.